So I'm looking at the Stromer ST2 doing a review today. Check this out. I got Chan Lee hey. and Ravi here. They're both from the forums at Electric Bike Review. And Chan Lee owns a shop in Chattanooga, right? Certified electric bike specialist. So I thought, you know, you're certified. You're just a genius. So might include you guys on this review. Um, so I just want to hit up some of the basic specs. This is a 62 pound bike. It comes in three different sizes. So maybe the weight varies a little bit um, based on that. You've got these nice sort of aluminum alloy fenders. We've got this rear rack. Excellent lighting system that's controlled right up here from this breakout pad. Very easy to reach. It's like super narrow, so you can just right over like that. You see the lights lighting up in the front. 180 millimeter disc brakes, hydraulic Magura right here. Beautiful all the way around. Schwab, Big Ben tires, 26 by 2.1. Okay, yeah, yeah, excellent. Um, you know what is cool? There is a USB port to charge your phone. Oh yeah, that's right. Look at that, like rubberized USB port, so you could oh, nice. kind of have your dongle hanging out in the front of your bike. So you can plug in your phone, Look at USB that. cable, and then charge your phone on, on the fly. Okay, I want to knock out the rest of the basic specs here before we get too far into this. So we've got a saddle here that's designed in tandem with Strummer and Ergon. You'll notice these Ergon grips with lockers at the end. Uh, touch screen right here that rotates through a few different menus right so we can see trip distance trip time we got the battery indicator and speed this one says trip speed and then you can see one of three levels of pedal assist again you can adjust those right up here this is a backlit button pad really cool i haven't seen that on a lot of other other bikes we've got two rings up front then we've got shimona diore xt in the rear one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is a 20 speed right 20 speed bike. Okay, now why don't you take over? Because Ravi's got some behind the scenes info about the frame and about some of the, the controller that's moved out of the motor. So tell me about the motor. It's gearless. Um, today morning I got to speak with Christian, who is the CEO of uh, Stromer right. Switzerland. Thomas Bingley is the Thomas Bingley is the chairman, and Christian is the CEO. And he was telling me uh, the differences in between ST2 and ST1. Okay, on ST2 they moved. The controller. Um, previously, the controller was inside the motor. They moved it right beneath the battery tube here. Uh, so, good. And, yeah. and so they shaved almost five pounds from the battery weight. This uses the same TMM4 torque sensor that is used on ST1. And it's motion. super responsive. Okay, yeah. before. We, so I just want to take a minute here. I rode this bike around. I've ridden the Turbo Specialized. I've ridden several other bikes that are known for being just like very responsive and high torque. And this is definitely the most responsive. It's at the top of the list. The yeah. reason for that is it's not just the TMM4 sensor. They have three other sensors which works in tandem. There's a light sensor and there's an inclination sensor and a motion sensor really? built huh. into the uh, display here. And um, because of that, if you're on an incline, it's it, because of that. If you're on in, on an incline you'll see the motor assisting you automatically even with, without changing the assist level um, and they have a, a, they have a new proprietary motor system from ultra motor this is specially only this is specially for stromer and uh, the nominal output is 500 watt and the peak output is 800 watt That's awesome. uh, 42 newton meters of torque 42 newton meters. <laughs> yeah. and, and uh, the, the Okay. That's enough to haul Chan Lee's mom around. I mean, oh, oh. sorry, sorry. I didn't. I, oh. We didn't expect to have this happening. On, so it's a, a 48 volt system battery and then 48 volt system of motor mm -hmm. and uh, 814 watt hours battery capacity. 814 watt hours. So what's the voltage on the battery? 48 volts, uh, 18 ampere. I, I really like the fact that it comes with a really nice saddle, ergon grips, nice flat pedals. Oh so yeah. There's absolutely nothing you want to change on this unless you want to put a third buster or a body float right uh, except that you have almost everything else uh, perfect system for a commuter bike so now i, I want to i got some complaints here okay uh, have we got all the specs out of the way i well i think one other cool thing to talk about is the level two and level two is customizable customizable for your your your, your application on your phone what is that? okay tell me what that means you what do you mean adjust, level two and stuff you can, you can adjust the speed the torque everything so basically you become kind of like the shops where you can adjust how this bike performs Whatever based you on want, your intended through use your through, your through your phone inside the computer yeah. it's amazing and this is this has a gsm chip which is not built into any particular contractor i like you know carrier like at and right it's like whispernet with the amazon kindle exactly yeah it exactly. updates and so i was talking to christian and i was like you can just flip a switch and turn off all your bikes and he's like 
Well, may, I mean, that's amazing, right? They, they can, can the good thing is they can adjust it yeah, remotely. They, they can send over the air updates, updates. Uh, anytime they want, and you can track the, uh, the location of the bike remotely uh, almost, they say, almost 600 miles. Uh, which is which is really and so that's like a theft prevention kind of a thing, right? Yeah, you know, or Big Brother's watching. You. Right, I know, right? That's the interesting <laughs> thing about this. I mean, you know, of course, these guys, Strummer is in. It, they're really investing in this space. They've had the Strummer Sport, the ST ones, and now the ST two is really like the pinnacle of their technology. Of course, it's the new. And of course, the through axle. Oh, through axle on front and rear, so it's extra stiff, right? And it makes getting the wheels on and off more easy. Um, I noticed that this there's no like quick release. No, uh, it's, it's just using Allen wrenches and stuff, but uh, you know it is a hub motor, and uh, that's one of the one of the trade-offs. Brakes, but with, with MT4 uh, rotors. MT4 rotors, and you said that this was like carbon steel. Yeah, uh, for uh, excellent heat dissipation, it, it can heat, dissipate heat quicker. Right. Pleasure, a zoom, uh, kickstand. I think this time last, if you look at ST1, it felt like a cheap crank set because there was a gap between. Uh, the crank set and, and the housing. Yeah. I think this time they have a FSA uh, um, component to cover that so that dust and grit don't enter. And while we're down here, check it out. We got a uh, water bottle oh, cage adapter. That's important. You get hot and sweaty out. That's why we're in the shade. Love your water bottle. <laughs> we're, <Thank> you. <laughs> by the way, we're out. Uh, this is like day one of Interbike 2014 that we're looking at this. Of course, we've still got the removable battery. Did you say you think it's the same form factor as on the ST1, yeah, but just a absolutely. higher capacity? Yeah, it's the same gold colored um, battery. Um, Okay, are we done complimenting this bike? Because there's like a million... That's... I will say, like, as someone who has the ST1, this does really well in the corners. The weight distribution feels amazing. Yeah, and like you were saying, Ravi, they brought some weight. You said four pounds out of the motor and down into the down tube? And then, yes, they, they brought the controller in here. So yeah. you can plug in, they can plug in something here to, you know, change the controller. Uh, and, and that four pounds savings has been transferred to the battery because battery is heavier now so yeah. it's still 62 pound bike what was the range the estimated range the estimated range they say in eco mode almost 100 miles almost 100 miles in eco mode that's fantastic and this bike blends in it's it's so stealth even though it's got a big motor back there just with the black and the accents i think it looks good i do want to say again 26 by 2.15 on the tires here and they add a lot of cushion but you know there is no suspension no suspension seat post you could add the thud buster as ravi suggested earlier okay are now are we done are we got any more you're gonna like it you're gonna like it it is nice now i'm gonna complain about it okay the thing that i didn't like or i didn't notice and correct me if i'm wrong these magura brake levers don't have a motor cutoff they and so when i was pedaling they do they do, do. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, I see this, but when I rode it, I didn't feel it cutting off very instantaneously. It could be because of the motor momentum keeps you going. The momentum because it's a gearless direct drive yeah, motor? Yeah, I didn't really feel that. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to try that again. So, I mean, I see, the, I, I see what you're saying. Like, I see a wire there. I imagine that they would they would do that. This Everything else is high high touch, but it didn't cut out the motor instantaneously for me. It kept going. And when you're going fast on this, because it is a speed pedelec, right? You can get up to 28 miles per hour and it's not hard. It's like you're you're cruising. Really, it's really okay, bad. so just keep that in mind. Maybe, you know, again, I, I'm okay being wrong. Looks like it has a cutoff, but it wasn't as fast as, as I thought. Maybe that's back to the adjustments with your with your phone and stuff. Also, does this have regenerative braking? It does, it does. It, it does. does. In fact, it, they, they changed the word regen to recoup. Uh, recoup. It, it's called recoup now. It's the same thing, but it has a stronger recoup than this ST1. That's what Christian said. Um, so if you're going downhill, you can recuperate. Because I didn't see there. regen modes on here. I only saw three modes of pedal assist. So you uh, back to the brakes. You squeeze that. It activates regen mode. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'm trying to think of other complaints here. I mean, you can take the battery off you know, to protect it and charge it. It's, it's you know they have an interesting um, seat post collar here. So it's kind of a slightly difficult to you know take it off you need to have a allen key or something to take it off most of the seat posts come with a quick release with a quick release yeah. but you know it's that's part of like the brute i mean this is like mean kind of you know all the it's really really good okay yeah. but yeah i mean we I gotta be critical too okay how much does this bike cost Shanley? Uh, do you know 69 and right now Six, it's that's only a... coming with the city kit so they might uh -huh. release something a little cheaper in the future and it's a little bit behind maybe on release yeah, in the United they States? They said uh, 1,400 uh, bikes were sold in Europe within the first two months and, and they couldn't allot 
those bikes to America, <laughs> uh, and they're yeah. bringing in March, February 2015. And in, in Europe, where, where they released those 1,400 units in 2014, uh, is this limited to like 15 miles per hour, or is no, it a Germany, speed pedal? Equity? Germany, it's, it's, uh, you need to have a license and, and a little a plates and stuff. But in Switzerland... Yeah, the, look at this. That's what this is for. In Switzerland, and 30% of the market has been um, it's been just Stromer in Switzerland. It's mainly Stromer. Wow. And and I think it's slightly different in, in Switzerland compared to Germany uh, in terms of uh, regulations. Wow. So do you want to hop on this real quick and ride by? Don't go too far. Just go whoosh and we'll we'll see what this looks maybe, like. Maybe. Do you want to do it, Chanley? He's got a helmet. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, we're in Still we're in forward. assist level two right now, but. All right, guys, don't twist my arm. There we go. Assist level three. You can see the battery is at 64%, zero miles per hour. I'm gonna check those brakes for you. Yeah, try the try the brakes and see what I'm talking about. See if it's delayed. Just right here, real close, because I got a wide angle. Okay. Thanks, Chenley, and ride safe. Okay. It's serious business now. This bike is not messing around. The thing just takes off. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It feels like a geared motor. Even though it's a gearless motor, I've never seen a gearless motor behave this way. I mean, it's very torquey. Okay, so now what do you think? I want one. Well, no, but what about the brakes? <laughs> no, it feels, I'm feeling it kite, but it's also, it's, it's quitting really quickly with my pedaling. So, so unlike the this other is guys, a torque sensor plus all the other sensors you talked about. When you braked, you're, I felt the motor still going. I think it's just I think, I think it's just speed, momentum. Just Do you want to try it, Robbie? Take it real quick and and give you know. I want your thoughts on the brake, uh, whether that cuts the motor quick enough or not. It's it's a smoother kite. Like I know with the ST1, it's not you as really abrupt. Like just, yeah. Yeah. Not completely, but I'm still not having any problems. There he goes. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty good. Oh, I want your feedback. Uh, you know, I really love it. I mean, this is the first gearless motor I really, really enjoyed riding. Most of the gearless motors feels like slow. Yeah. This is real quick. It's immediate. But what about the brakes? When you pulled the brakes, did you feel the motor still going a little bit? Um, I think it cut off, but you know, it could be my. Am I the only one here who has any guts? I, I feel the no, motor no, 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 still no. going. I mean, like I. I I, I agree it's not like the ST1, but it's yeah. it's cutting. I'm not having any... Okay, yeah, okay. okay. well I'm going to hop on it now and see what I can do. I'm just going to take it with me. Okay. Yeah, that was a good suggestion. Good suggestion. As I'm pedaling, if I'm holding the brake, it, the motor doesn't go. Still feeling a little bit of lag, but I agree with Chanley. It's sort of a... It's just sort of a slower response. Well, you guys, thank you so much. That was a joint review. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Stromer's new ST2. Sounds like it's going to be out in sort of the first half of 2015. And uh, again, yeah, excellent. For the full written review on this, more specs and stuff, see you back at electricbikereview.com. Sweet.